Hello, everyone. In today's class, uh, we are going to see what is arithmetic mean uh, for a group series, how to calculate for uh, the arithmetic series for group series. See, for example, what is a group series here? See, uh, I am having a number from 0 to 10. I have got four numbers. See, I do not know what are all the numbers present here that will not be shown here. So 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. Like this, suppose I'm having a series to calculate arithmetic mean that I will call it as the group series. So how to calculate the uh, arithmetic mean for the group series we are going to see in this video. So now for a group series, we just wanted to have three methods as usual. So we'll be having a direct method. We'll be having a shortcut method. Shortcut method is also called as assumed mean method and step deviation method. All the three we are going to see in this video. So for direct method, we are going to have sigma fx by sigma f will be the base formula. Okay, so now just note down this base formula here. So how to remember these two formulas, other two formulas I'm going to tell you. See, for example, in the same type, just watch out this formula here. I'm going to add an A with this. So here in the deviation, I'm going to subtract the A from each value. So that you have to note it down. So now the similar way, note down here, F U. So here U I am minusing, right? X minus A divided by S. So I am subtracting a A and dividing a A. So what will be the opposite? I am adding a A and I am multiplying by the H. Okay, this is what you have to remember. How to remember the formula? Okay, so now we'll be having a same answer for this. So one by one, we are going to see now, See, find the mean of the following series. So this is what is the given sum. So what to do here? So we are not having any x here. See, this says f x here. I'm going to show here. Right. So here it says x. So where to find out? There is no x. So what I'm going to do is this is called the lower limit. This is called the upper limit. What I'm going to do is I'm writing the lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. Now that will that will be my x. So I will call this as uh, the mid x. So I'm going to write this mid x here. So it will be five, obviously. So 10 plus 20, it is 30. So what I'm going to get here is 30 divided by two will be 15, then 20, 30. So it is 50, so I'm getting 25 here. So 30, 40, so it's 70. So I'll be getting 35 here. Then what I'm going to do is 40 to 50, what I'm going to have is here 90, so it is 45. So here, what I'm going to do is, so in F, I'm going to check the value. See, F and X, I'm going to multiply and write in the uh, format. Okay, now here, uh, what is this actually? Five, four. So okay, now I'm going to multiply this five into four, and I'm going to multiply 15 into, I'm sorry, 13. So then I'm going to multiply 25 into 8. Then I'm going to find out 35 uh, into 9, then 45 into 6. So I'm going to multiply this value. I'm going to write it here. Okay. So what will be the value? If you're uh, free, you can calculate 4 phase of 20. Okay. Now and 15 and 13, I'm going to multiply. So that comes around 195. Then I'm going to multiply 25 into uh, 25 into 8. That will give you, I think, just 200. Then 35 into 9. Mm, 35 into 9 is 315. Okay. Then 45 into 6. I'm going to multiply. So 45 uh, into 6 will give you. 270. Okay, this is called the direct method. So now, what are all the things I'm going to do here is I am going to add this sigma fx. So all these numbers I'm going to add. So what is my sigma fx? I'm going to show it in the separate column. You can do it in the column wise directly. I'm going to find out sigma fx. Okay, now what is this uh, sigma fx? It is nothing but 20 plus 195 plus 200 plus 315 plus 270. 
That's what I'm going to calculate. Okay, now what will be the sigma f here? Okay, sigma f, I'm going to add the sigma here. Now 4 plus 13 plus 8 plus 9 plus 6. Okay, so now I'm going to write this here and I'm going to divide this. So I'm going to add these numbers now. Uh, first of all, 20, then I'm going to add plus 195, then I'm going to add uh, 200, then I'm going to add 315, I'm going to add 217, that comes around 1000. Okay, right, 1000, right. Then I'm going to add these three numbers, four, uh, then 13, then eight, okay, then nine, then six, that comes around 40. So what does my direct method tells you? Okay, now direct method tells mean is denoted by x bar, it's nothing but sigma fx divided by sigma f. So I'm going to write this as 1000 divided by 40. Now this goes, it is 100 divided by 4, that comes around 25. So my mean is 25. So by using the direct method. So this is how I'll be using direct method to calculate direct method to calculate. Uh, now in this sum, we are going to do uh, the mean of the following series using a shortcut method. See, as usual, I'm going to find out the mid value. See, as usual, the previous method, just I'm going to find out the mid value. The mid value is calculated as usual. So uh, this is 5, 15, uh, 25, 35, and 45. So if you see the previous example, see here, our numbers are very big here. So 20, 195, 200, and 315, 270. So our object is to reduce this into a smaller number. That is why I'm going to find out the uh, deviations. What is this deviation? Okay, so now I'm going to choose some number as A. So most probably in this middle value as the uh, assumed mean here. So I'm going to check this 25 as my assumed mean. Here. Okay, so now I'll call this as assumed mean. So I'm going to subtract each value from this assumed mean. That's what is the deviation. So normally this uh, mid x is 5. So I'm going to multiply minus uh, 25. So this comes around minus 20. So here I'm going to subtract this 15 minus 25 that will give you minus 10. Now this is 25 minus 25, that gives you zero. Now 35 minus 25 giving you 10. Now this is um, now 45 minus 25, which will give you uh, minus 20, plus 20, I'm sorry, plus 20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, going to multiply F and D. So where is D? D is here. F is here, I'm going to multiply these two. So four into minus 20 is minus 80. Now this is uh, 13, so it is minus 130. Now this is eight into zero, it is zero. Then nine into it is 90, six it is 120. So what I'm going to do is here. So now I'm going to add these two numbers first, okay? So now 130, and 80, it comes around minus 210, okay? Now, these two I'm going to add. This is how much it is coming. Now, this is uh, 90, 90 and 120, I'm going to add it. This is also 210, it is coming, okay? My job is easy now. Now, what is my sigma FD here? Sigma FD is nothing but zero, I got it. So now, what is my assumed mean? Assumed mean is the value of 25. So what I'm, sigma f is, as usual, we have calculated already. So in the previous example, sigma f is 40 here. So I'm going to, okay. So now I'm going to have this. So not always this will uh, give you the um, zero answer, okay. So sometimes it will give. So what is my mean here? X bar is equal to A plus sigma f d divided by sigma f is my answer. Okay, so now I'm going to write 
this a value as 25 because here i got assume minus 25 plus sigma f d is 0 here divided by 40 0 divided by 40 is 0 so 25 is my mean so you can check the previous uh, also so previous also we got 25 here as the answer here also we will be having 25 this is how we will be doing the assumed mean method uh, here assumed mean method uh, using the uh, formula that is the deviation x minus a okay now similarly i am going to do a step deviation method in the next format so what i am going to do is here you check the, the value here it is 20 it is 10 and 0 it is 10 and 20 so is it possible for me to reduce further this value yes i can do it by dividing this by 10 that's what i'm going to do it okay so now as usual this is the sum we are going to use a step deviation method as usual so we are going to write the value of uh just like a previous one we are going to write here 5 it is here 15 25 35 45 just like a previous sum here i'm going to find out the u value u value is nothing but so i'm going to write this as a as usual so here it is 5 minus 25 divided by i'm going to write this 10 how i am choosing this h here okay most probably this h is the difference between these two okay so 0 minus 10 i'm going to take this as 10 class size i'll call it sometimes it is a number which you are going to choose by yourself to reduce the value because you are dividing here you are going to multiply it in the answer so it doesn't make any difference by choosing this okay most probably you will be choosing it from this difference so i will be getting so minus 20 by 10 i'll be getting minus 2 similarly if you calculate for this it is 15 minus 25 by 10 so what is that so 10 so it's just minus 1 similarly 25 minus 25 by 10 will give you 0 now 35 minus 30, 35 minus 25 here by 10 so it will give you see 10 by 10 is 1 and it is 45 minus 25 by 10 will give you 2 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to multiply with this so i'll get minus 8 here minus 1 into 13 i'll get so minus 13 here then this i'll get 0 this 9 into 1 will give you 9 here this 2 into 6 will give you 12 here so here i'm going to add these two numbers i'm going to write it here okay so now it is minus 21 here i'm getting plus 21 it's a strange sum so i'll get so not for all the uh, sums you'll get like this so now here well, i'm substituting in the formula directly i'm substituting here x bar is equal to a plus sigma f u by sigma f into h i'm going to write it here so that is what is a is 25 plus this is 0 by sigma f is 40 into this h is 10 here some calculation if it comes i'm going to do it so i'll get the value as x is equal to 25 so this is how you will do your uh, class interval uh, type of sums here. Okay, so this is the mean for group series. So this is how we will calculate mean for three types. Uh, if you, th thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, you can uh, just directly contact us so that we can put another video. So if you have any doubts in this type of sums, you can put the uh, sums you can ask what is the doubt so that we can prepare a small video to help you. Thank you very much.